हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल सी एस सी कॉन्सेप्ट विद पर एज यू मस्ट बी नोइंग नाउ अड इज वी आर लर्निंग द कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डा राइट एलगोरिदम्स सो वन सच अगेन टॉपिक इज आर्टिकुलेशन पॉइंट एंड बाई कनेक्टेड कम्पोनेंट इन ग्राफ सो गाइज दिस टॉपिक ओफन कम्स इन डिस्क्रेट मैथमेटिक्स ऑल्सो इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ द कॉमनली आस्ड क्वेश्चन फॉर डा जनरली स्टूडेंट्स फाइंड दिस टॉपिक डिफिकल्ट बट आई एम अश्योरिंग यू दैट बाई द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू विल बी क्लियर अबाउट द फैक्ट दैट वॉट इज आर्टिकुलेशन पॉइंट वॉट इज बाई कनेक्टेड कम्पोनेंट्स वाई इट इज इम्पोर्टेंट to find them and also with the help of one example one complicated example i will show you how to find out bi connected component and articulation point very easily in your exams okay so first of all let us understand if any graph is given to you what is bi connected component and articulation point in that first of all let us talk about bi connected component so bi connected component of a graph is a connected subgraph that cannot be broken further into disconnected pieces by deleting any single node so what it means that for example if you are having a graph any simple graph like let's say this let's say this is our a node this is our b node okay i can call this as a graph right obviously because uh, like in graph definition we are simply having the fact that graph is nothing but the combination of nodes and edges so here i am having two nodes and one edge is connecting them correct so this is a graph now this is the bi connected component ab itself is the bi connected component of this graph because i cannot further break down this graph right if i remove this uh, node a b alone is remaining if i uh, remove this b a alone is remain, uh, remaining right but the graph itself cannot be divided further or cannot be broken down further right so this is the bi connected component now what do we mean by articulation point it is the node of a graph whose removal would cause an increase in the number of connected components so if i am able to break down any graph into two or more parts the point or the node through which it can be divided is called the articulation point let me show you in this example only if i am taking any one more node let's say c right so here a b c this is a graph i have taken now imagine if i am removing this c nothing will happen if i will remove this b node nothing will happen but if i remove or if i break this graph from this node a ac will be one bi connected component and ab will be another bi connected component understood the example of bi connected component if i um, break down this graph from this node a ac will be one bi connected component ab will be another bi connected component right so this node a can be called articulation point this is one of the simplest example of these two so again a is the articulation point because if you break down this graph from the node a you will get two bi connected components that is ac and ab right so i hope with the help of this example these both definitions are very clear to you correct now let us try to understand that in exams how they are asking you they will be giving you any graph like here i have taken one graph and they will ask you to find out articulation point and bi connected components of that given graph okay so let's say this is the graph given to us with how many nodes with seven nodes a b c d e f g now for this graph you have to find out bi connected components and articulation point right so let me show you how to do that first of all for that um remember it let's remember it step by step okay so step number 1 is i am uh, like obviously it is not possible for me to write everything down but i would like to suggest you that if needed pause the video make your own notes right um note down whatever i am saying here or uh, see the video twice or thrice so that none of the points are skipped whatever i am saying here each point is very important right and i am again telling it because this is the type of example or this is one of the topics that students are generally finding very difficult and in exams also mostly they prefer to leave this topic but don't leave this topic they can give you very good marks and understanding this clears many of your concepts of da so it is important in either way right okay so this is the graph given to you i want to find out articulation point and bi connected components of this graph so guys uh, step number 1 is from the given graph you have to construct the tree right now there can be various ways through which you can construct the tree but the common way that we will be using is what um i will be using dfs method so what do i mean by dfs write down the numbers in these nodes in the order in which they are being traversed 
right you can start with any node that is not a problem but it is mostly recommended to start from any leaf node like any node that is not that is let's say connected with less number of nodes so here g is connected with less number of nodes c again i'm repeating you can start with any node that is not a problem so let's say i am starting with this g so i will give the number 1 to g from g where i can go i can go to only one node c so c will be 2 from c i can either go to d or i can go to b so you can give three number to d or b any of the nodes uh, that is up to you so let's say i'm giving three here from B, I can go here. From A, I can go here. From D, I can go again. I can go to F and E both. So, any of them can be 6 and 7. But let's say I'm giving 6 number to this and 7 number to E. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I have given one starting traversal number to all the nodes. Now, you have to give the ending number also. Now, from E, can you go to any other node that is not traversed yet? No, right? All the nodes are being traversed. So, that means what? From E, no new node is visible. So, you can end it here. So, for the ending traversal, you will make this and you will write the ending node. Then, go to the previous node. From every node, if its traversal is completed, go to the previous node from where you have come here. So, the previous node is F. From here also, you cannot go to any new node because obviously all the nodes are completed. So, it will be the same case for all the nodes. So, here the ending number will be from 8, ending number will be 9, here 10, here 11, here 12, 13 and 14. Clear? Simple? So, first of all, you have to do this that you will be giving the starting and ending traversal numbers to all the nodes of the given graph. Right? It is done. Now, what you need to do is with the help of these starting numbers, you will be making the tree. That means the node that has been traversed in the very first place, that will come in the very first place in your tree. So, how our sequence is? Our sequence is G, C, B. Let me write the sequence. 1, 2, 3 like this. Okay. So, G, C, B, A, D, F, E. Correct? A, D, F, E. Again, these numbers may vary from student to student based on how the flow they have taken. Okay. So, this is the sequence according to my numbers so according to this sequence what i will be doing is i will be making or constructing one tree so traversal tree will be c sorry g c b so g c b so it, it is very simple it will be a straight tree for me in this case but i will i'm thinking that i will be taking one different type of example also and i will show you in the next video but for this video understand the process very clearly okay so the straight tree will be g c b a d f e okay a d f and e simple so this is your tree for the given graph clear okay now the very first thing we have done is we have uh, drawn the tree with the help of all the nodes. Then you have to write the number also. So, how the numbering will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 straight. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Why we have written the numbers? You will be understanding. They are also having their significance. Okay. So, these numbers are important for uh, finding out DFN. I will tell you what is that. Don't worry. Okay. So, first step is to make this tree. Second step is to write these numbers. Now, find out are there any edges in your given graph that is not present here. Right. Like here we are having CG, CB. Uh, here also we are having G, C, C, B, right? So, is there any edge that is present here in this graph but not present in our tree? So, uh, this C, D. C, D is the edge present here but C and D are not directly connected here, right? So, you need to connect them through dots. So, let's say I am connecting C and D through dots. Uh, tell me, tell me in the comment section before I tell you that is there any other edge that is present here but not present in the tree? Try yourself. So, the next one is DE. Again, DE is the S that is present here, but it is not present here. So, again, you have to make DE with dotted lines. So, guys, these dotted lines that you have drawn here, they are known as back edge, right? These are the normal edges or the forward edges and these dotted lines are the back edge. So, again, these back edges are also very important for this numerical. I'll tell you how, right? So, this is the beginning step that we have done. We have constructed the tree, we have written these numbers and we have identified the back edge and also we have drawn them. Clear up till here. Now, 
the second major uh, step is to find out low of all these edges so we are having seven edges for the seven edges you have to find out low now how to find out low i have written the formula here this formula is important guys you need to remember so this low of u is equal to min of these three parameters you will find these three parameters and then out of these three parameters whichever value is minimum that will be your final low value right so minimum of dfn of u now remember that what is u here also we are having u here also we are having u u is nothing but the current node right for which you are working so u will be your current node this w will be your child node u will be seeing in your given tree in the tree that you have constructed and w will be your child and this w will be your package fine don't worry you will be able to understand it clearly as and when we will find out low of all the nodes right so let us start with always remember you can again start with any of the nodes but always remember it is preferable to start finding the lows from the leaf of your tree right because as you have seen here while find out uh, finding out the low value you will be needing the low value of the child understood so let's say if you are finding the value of g you will need the low value of c for c you will need the low value of b understood that is why it is more logical to start finding out the values of low from the leaf node right so first of all we will we will be going in this order so first of all we will be finding the low of e so let's say i'm writing low of e so e becomes my u right uh, write down this uh, formula somewhere and try to relate with it so my u is e in this case because i am finding out for e okay so this will be min of dfn of u so let me write it down for you min of dfn of e i'll tell you what is dfn don't worry then we are having min of low of its child okay so min of low of its child whose child child of e so do you have any child of e no right because e is the leaf node right so it is not having any child so this parameter will not come here directly you can write a simple dash here understood then what is the third parameter the third parameter is min of dfn of w w is what package so with e do we have package yes i have told you this is the package right so what will be your parameter min of dfn of w so its package is what it is going till d so it will be d clear now let us see how to find out here min of dfn of e understand that what is dfn of e dfn means nothing D dfn is simply these numbers that you have written with the tree that you have constructed okay so min of min of dfn of e so dfn of e with e what you have written 7 so i am writing 7 here then dash because it is not having any child then min of dfn of d right min of dfn of d so when this min is required when we are having multiple packages right when we are having multiple packages you will be writing the minimum value out of all those but here we are having only one package right so only dfn of d so dfn of d is what 5 So what is the minimum value out of seven? Nothing means zero. You can consider n five. You can you cannot consider zero here. It is nothing, right? Null or something like this. Okay. So what is the minimum value out of seven and five? It is five. So the value of low of e is equal to five. Understood? I hope you understood it clearly. It was the first note. That is why I have written everything separately. And I hope now you will be able to find it out. So I am writing the values for you. In case you have any doubt or you are getting any other value, always free feel free to reach me out through social media or you can uh, comment in this video. I will be definitely uh, clearing your doubt, right? So similarly, then you will be finding the low of f, then d, then a, b, c, g. Similarly, right? So low of f would be you will get it as minimum of six, five, and dash. That will be five. okay i am simply writing these three parameters also for you so that even if you will do it yourself you you will get an exact idea whether you are going correct or not right so low of a low of b c and g i would recommend you to please pause the video and try writing it on your own finding it out on your own before i write it down okay so min of for d you will get 552 so the ultimate answer would be 2 for a 42 dash that will give you the answer 2 for b it would be 3 to dash you will be getting 2 see dash means when you are not having any package you will do dash in that parameter third parameter when you will not have any child you will do dash in the second parameter similarly okay and uh, this is for b for c you will get 2 to dash that will give you 2 and here you will get 1 to dash that will give you 1 okay so this is a very important uh, step that you have to find out the value of low for all the nodes that you are having
now you are almost done now you just need one more condition to be checked to find out which are your uh, articulation point see how to find these two the first step is you have to find out the articulation point and once you get the articulation point it becomes very easy to find out the bi connected components okay so after this after you have done finding out all the low values what you need to do is you need to find out which are the articulation point now remember that one universal truth is the leaf node can never be the articulation point because what is articulation point one point that is dividing your graph into two or multiple parts like here we have seen if i am having something like this abc a was dividing the graph into two parts but here it is leaf leaf can never if i remove this leaf nothing will happen the tree will become smaller right but leaf can never divide your tree into multiple parts right for that reason leaf can never be your articulation point now if we talk about root if your root is something like this if your root is further divided into two or multiple branches in that case the root is always the articulation point but if your root is having only one child then it can never be a articulation point understood so now from here it is clear that e and g cannot be the articulation points so which are our possible articulation points c b a d and f out of these five we can get our articulation point now we have to find out how many of them are the articulation points for this we are having very simple condition to be checked now what is the condition to be checked you have to check this condition for all the nodes that dfn of u should be less than or equal to low of w where u is the node itself and w is its child node right if this condition is true right if this condition is true that node u will be your articulation point otherwise it will not be an articulation point simple right so i need to check the same formula or the same condition for how many nodes for this five possible nodes okay so i will be checking the same for c first of all so for c what i need to check dfn of u sorry dfn of u that is dfn of c should be less than or equal to low of what is the child of c check the child of c is b low of b so tell me what is dfn of c how to check it the number beside c in our tree that is 2 2 is less than or equal to low of b what is low of b it is equal to 2 here right low of b here we are having 2 so 2 is less than or equal to 2 true or false yes it is true that means c is my articulation point clear understood similarly we need to find out for b a d f for b you will be from the same formula by applying the same formula you will get that for b you will get 3 is less than or equal to 2 3 is less than or equal to true no that means it is not an articulation point for a you will get 4 is less than or equal to 2 is it true no that means a is also not articulation point then we will check for d and for f for d if you find out you will get that 5 is less than or equal to 5 this condition is true that means c is our one articulation point d is our another articulation point let us find out for f for f you will get 6 is less than or equal to 5 that means again this is not true so in this case i am getting only two articulation point that is c and d so you can conclude that c and d are the two articulation points for given graph understood so this is the conclusion first that c and d are the two articulation points now how to find out bi connected components as per the definition that we have understood simply understand that c and d are the articulation point that means if you divide this given graph by these two points c and d how many uh, pieces how many uh see how many connected components you will be getting right so if you analyze this graph properly if you remove these two points c and d or if you break uh, it is better to say that if you break these graphs from these two points what you will get you will get three by connected components which three one would be this this portion is one this portion will be 2 and this line will be 3 right clear if you divide it from here one square one uh, triangle and one line so you will get this one a b c d right then you will get this line that is c g and then you will get this one d e and f clear see these three and see this graph it will be very clear to you right so your answer number 1 is these two are the articulation points your answer number 2 is three bi connected components are possible for the given graph and it is these three clear now i hope 
you will be able to uh, find out by connected components and articulation point for any given graph given to you still if you need one more example uh, i will try to make one more video for the same topic using one different graph whose approach would be little bit of different so that you will get better idea and clear idea by both the examples right in case you have any doubt or if you want to learn particular topic about or particular concepts about da feel free to reach me out feel free to mention it in the comment section if you are new please subscribe the channel like the video and share it with your friends so that they can also get benefit from it thank you so much